Spectre here, and today we have a new series on our hands. Mostly, I know that I haven't been updating the Murder of Crows, but then I figured that I'll try and catch up on Journalist before I continue any further with that story. So anyway, with this, uh, we're gonna call it the... S I don't know what to call it actually, we'll just call it Spectre Sim 4. Anyway, I can't think of names. Guys, give me a name for this. But basically, first we have this character here who is Hoa Rose. Hoa, I think, is just Vietnamese for flower. So, flower, flower. Not exactly the most creative thing ever, but as you can see her... Ooh, I need to change her aspiration here. Wrong aspiration. She wants to be a... Yeah, since we have like the painting studio up, we might as well. She wants to be a painter extraordinaire. I'm not sure whether to get her a job yet, but for the meanwhile, she's sitting at home painting. Uh, she is a bro. Sort of, yeah. And she's active because, as you can see with her physique, she should be active. And creative just to help her along the lines with her painting skills and stuff like that. Uh, and then we have Premrose, who is Hoa's sister from another mother, but basically they're sisters in this LP. And she is a nerd brain, where she basically wants to be both book smart and handy, so yeah. She is a romantic, so she tends to be flirty. And a genius, obviously, because she is going to be the doctor. And she is just a really nice person. She's good. And then here we have the brothers who are just going to be running wild in this LP. And over here we have Ism, who I think I'm saying that wrong. I'm pretty sure I'm saying that wrong. Who is who has the bodybuilder trait? We're going to try and get him some kind of athletic. Um, career. He is a bit jealous. He is incredibly active as well. I'll show you their house in a minute. And he is cheerful. Like he is the goofball of the two brothers. He basically just tends to buy some really strange things and just like beg his brother to let them keep it. And then we have Edmund who is the musical one. He is going to be a serial romantic, but he's his aspiration is to be like some kind of superstar or something. He's really self-assured and he's outgoing. So he's got all the right traits. So let us get into their world. The loading screens always take forever. But anyway, this is going to be a very free and easy a uh, series where I'm just going to be playing along with a storyline. Not much of a storyline, I have no idea where this is going because I'm unsure if I want it to go in the same direction that my Sims 3 game kind of went in. So yeah. Holy cow, this is a long load screen. Oh, there we go. Is it... is it starting? Okay, I don't have to edit that out. So yeah. Oh my goodness, graphics. What happened? <laughs> this looks like a paper cutout tree, which is amazing. Uh, I'm going to wait until... Oh no, it's coming in. So you've seen the speed built for the girls' houses, which is like this really, really fancy place. Uh, I forget how to turn the camera around. Uh, we're stuck like this forever. Right. Uh, it's this really fancy modern place which basically the girls have lived in forever. Their family has lived there and so do they now. And then next door, the boys house which is a bit more traditional, a bit more cozy. It isn't quite in their style because they basically needed a place to live and their parents... Well, not their parents. Their parents are long gone but they are aunt and uncle were like, we are going to be moving away to the countryside so you guys can have this house and stay here because we don't want it to get into, we don't want to sell it. Basically, we want to keep it in the family. So here we have these, it's really old fashioned, like this tiny little sitting room, 
a nice like sanded table, uh, a little outdoor area which is really sweet, and this breakfast nook, a little working desk for whoever needs to work, and this guy who I need a name for, which is basically one of the things that isn't brought home one day and his brother didn't want to keep but he really wanted it. And this is Ism's bed. This is the bed that I wanted for Hua but um, we didn't get it in the end. And this is Edmund's room so we'll just have them claim it and claim this. I just realized the boys have very similar hairstyles. Uh, Ism out here he has this little working place and I'm gonna get them a job but then after that I'm just gonna leave them entirely alone so that they can fend for themselves. Uh, also we got a lot of money so we don't have to worry about that. Okay, uh, let's see now. Ism, could you not exercise? Where are... where for art thou? <laughs> right, find a job. And you... Um, please find a job as well. And then in a minute I'm going to have Prem find a job. Look at them, they're so similar. I basically um, like found one uh, a pair of brothers from the... Who am I choosing a job for? Okay, Edmund. Uh, I want a job for... what's his face? No! What am I saying? I keep losing my train of thought. But basically... Oh my goodness, this is so hard to talk. Ism, have you found a job? Why have you not found a job? I found these two brothers on the... gallery. Oh my goodness, that took so long to come up. But I found them on the gallery and I kind of changed their hair, their skin color, and their um, personalities. So you... Oh dang. Why did you gain a charisma skill? How is that even possible? And I need to buy him a guitar. Or I could just... Wait. Edmund? Okay, there we go. Uh, let's see now. Oh! He can be an athlete. Simple as that. Okay, there you go. So I'm going to leave them alone for now, and I'm in fact going to give this guitar over to their house. Come on. Oh no, no. What am I doing? Uh, let's give this guitar over to Edmund. And then we'll just basically leave them to fend for themselves. Okay, uh, girls, you need to stop talking for a second. And no, no, no. Find a job. Yep. Yeah. No, stop. Everyone, stop going for the computer. You need to work on your painting skills. So we'll have her paint for now. And then. Also, I want to change this. Change color to rainbow. Same with this one. Okay, she needs to be a doctor, so we can follow her to work whenever we want to. She starts Monday at 7am. Oh, good gosh. What does she need for hay? For hay? For her thing on my bigger. Uh, ideal mood focus. Okay, we just need to attend work with her for a couple of times. Uh, let's work on their relationship. Go on, go talk to her. Oh, my game is slowing down because my computer is overheating. Tell a joke about vampires. Hey, I wonder what the brothers are doing. Where are they? Dude, why are you just standing out here? Um... <coughs> <coughs> oh, I'm so sorry. But I really like their garden. It's like small and cozy. Uh, why don't you go here? And I'm just gonna... Okay, okay, I know, but I can't help but meddle a little bit. So, 
The story is, is that they don't know each other very well. Uh, like these girls, they've basically been here their whole lives, but the two boys, they moved out when they were really young with their family, and their aunt and uncle lived there. But, so basically they heard of these girls, and the girls heard of them, but they don't really mix together. And you'll notice that the guys, uh, yeah, you can see here, isn't working out, and he can look directly into Hua's studio. So we're gonna start with Hua and Ism, basically wanting to get to know each other. Like they know they're there, so it's it's gonna be a bit of a romantic story, I guess. And I did not paint that wall. My goodness, I should do that off camera. Aww, the sisters are getting along so well. I love that. Uh, I think between the two of them, since Hua is spending most of her time at home, she's going to be the domestic one. The one who cooks and stuff. And Prem is just going to need to focus on he on Hei. Why do I keep saying that? On her skills to become a amazing doctor. An amazing doctor. A plus English right there, guys. Seriously, I'm a little bit concerned about what the- My phone keeps going off! Why does this only happen when I'm trying to record? Oh, what was I saying? I forgot entirely what I was saying. But come on, paint faster. Ooh, what's this? Camera options. Ooh, interesting. Okay, so sorry. Um, the game just updated like seconds before I entered the house to start working on Isms and Edmund's plot. Which I really like actually. It's small, it's cozy, and soon we're gonna be building like, a playground back here, which will be really fun. Because I think. Um. Ooh, Prem is focused, that's great. I think it's this computer that I got through a cheap. <clears throat> I mean, I got it through legitimate means. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, but she's going to be really career-minded. Like, she would be happy to have like a niece or a nephew to play with. But basically, her main focus is on her job. Plus, can I interact with Bob? <gasps> no, I can only view him. Right, that's great. Uh, okay, I know this is a slight waste of time. Okay, come here. You need to go potty. And... Oh, you... <gasps> That's actually a really pretty painting. I really like that. Um, Let's bring the walls up. And we'll close this. And we'll put this over here. Put it down a little. And can we frame it? Come on. Stop hanging. Frame canvas. There. Okay. Focus. You need to go to Tinkle. Oh no, you don't need. Uh, do you know what? Just everyone go to the bathroom. And then you are both gonna do some yoga together. Let's see now. Yoga routine, I think. She needs to do her brain boosting to keep her inspired. And Prem needs to do the mind concentrating one to keep her focused. So we're gonna both up their spiritual level, which I think is a lot of fun. Like these two. Oh, I love the tattoos. I love the tattoos on her back. And that is something that honestly the girl that I based Prem off, she would definitely have tattoos if she could, but apparently doctors don't have tattoos. Like, she's studying to be a doctor, and her lecturers are very much against her getting tattoos or various piercings. Don't ask. So, they're exercising together. You can check out their exercise outfits. Both really nice. Uh, I couldn't find the leggings, so she's wearing jeans. 
Oh. Oh, Prem, that, that's a really bad pose. Just saying. I wish they could talk while they're doing this, but I suppose the fact, the point of yoga is to concentrate. In fact, I don't know what the point of yoga is. I've never done it. Prem is good. Good sims are happy when others around them are happy, and they seek to improve the world. Aww. Okay. Seriously, I'm gonna have to speed you guys up, because this is boring. Okay, after uh, I think she's done, she's gonna go down here and cook them up some grub. Okay. Because they're both on the same lot, okay, uh, Prem is vegetarian, so we need to get her a garden salad. But because they're both on the same lot, each thing that I put in the fridge ends up in the boys' lot as well. So, yeah, I guess the boys, I don't have to worry about them starving or setting the house on fire or something. And I think, because I definitely want Hua and Ism to get along. Like, I'm not sure what Prem and Edmund are gonna do, but Ism and Hua are definitely gonna get along. And I might join the two houses or demolish it and put up like just one big house so that they can live together. And Hua would definitely not want Prem to move out, like, because they're family. Stuff like that. Gross stuff like that. But yeah, so we're just gonna sit there and apparently in the new update they upgraded one of the food. I'm not sure what it is. I think it was the BLT, it wasn't the salad. Why are they not moving suddenly? <laughs> Why is Edmund inspired? Is he inspired? No, he's confident. Right, and he's having a conversation with his brother, so we're gonna leave them entirely alone. Uh, ooh, let's show off some of Prem's outfits. So we're gonna change outfit into everyday two. And I sort of wanted them to have similar clothes, like maybe s some days you'll see Hua wearing Prem's clothes and vice versa because that is going to happen, like I said, in the speed build. If you put two girls who are friends in the same house, they are going to be wearing each other's clothes all the time. There's no avoiding it. Why are you thinking of a barbecue right now? Cook. I mean, toss that salad. There are, none of them is moving. Okay. Oh gosh, no! Toa, no! That is disgusting! Don't use your hands when you're cooking! Okay, I will need you to grab a serving as well. Go on. I hate it when this happens, when the sims just stop moving. But go on, grab a serving. Ooh, they're going to the dining room, that's nice. Okay, we'll put this away for you because we don't want it to be stinky. And it'll magically travel over to the boys' house so they can have food as well. Why are you energized? Okay, so let's have a nice conversation. Uh, I'm enthused about interest. Like seriously, I can't remember how to move my camera. Cause I have been u- nope, that's not it. I have been using the- hmm, command? Nope. Option? Nope. Control? No. <gasps> it's control. Okay. I've been using the mouse, but unfortunately, because I now have a mic and my games are in ex an external hot. De de de. My games are in an ex external hard disk drive. I can't have them both going on at once. So that is unfortunate. I think I'm gonna turn down the volume just a tad. Yeah. So I only have two USB ports, so if I'm using the mic, I can't be using the anything else. 
basically. So yeah, that was the first episode. I'm sorry we didn't really get into it, but we're just getting into their schedules right now and getting them settled. But that was basically the first episode. Oh, horse cleaning the dishes. But yeah, thank you all for watching. Leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already, and feel free to leave suggestions on what you think should happen along this line. If you guys have any ideas, I will be so open to hearing them. And yeah, uh, I hope every one of you are having a wonderful day, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!